What's up guys and welcome back to a new video on the channel. This video is all about Giovanni Reina Road to the Knockout. It is an objective. Should you grind it? Should you not? You'll find out in this video if you should. So, to unlock Giovanni Reina, you have to win 10 games with three Bundesliga players in your squad, which doesn't sound too hard, but when you're in Division 5 like myself, everyone's a sweat. So it took a bit of time. You need to assist five goals using American player. I brought the gold version of Giovanni Reina and uh, use him that way. Other ways you can use him, you can literally get like an American team, two strikers, easy, pretty easy to get. So pretty straightforward. Next one, literally score 10 goals using Bundesliga players. Easy. And then finally, two goals per game in four matches. So realistically, it's an easy game. The only one I struggled with is, well not struggled, but took time, is the 10 um, wins in rivals, squad battles, whatever. I do everything on rivals because I feel squad battles just easy. Um, but I finally managed to do it, and that means we have finally unlocked. Oh, we have finally unlocked Giovanni Reina Road to the Knockout. Looks a very interesting card, should I say? Oh, and it does the pack animation. I love the pack animation on this year's FIFA. Uh, EA FC. Sorry, I keep saying FIFA. Dortmund. See, I've got my Dortmund retro jumper on. And there he is. Looks a very, very decent card. 84 rated, obviously not a walkout, but some very, very good stats there. So what we'll do, we'll build a team around him, we'll have a close look at him, and the review will be at the end. So <clears throat> here are the stats for Road to Knockout's Giovanni Reina, the American Bundesliga Dortmund player. He's six foot one, medium, medium, four star skill moves, only a two star weak foot, which is a little bit disappointing, I'll be honest. And a controlled type um, acceleration. Like I say, he's 84 rated and he can play in attacking midfielder, which is his base kind of position. He can play a number of positions as well. Right mid, left mid, right wing. I think attacking midfielder is his perfect position. And I'll say why in a second. Pace-wise, 84 acceleration, 84 spin speed. So he's not slow. But being six foot one, he might feel slower than 84 right, um, pace. But we'll find out. Shooting-wise, 81 attack positioning. 87 shot power, 85 long shots, 85 volleys. So if he gets in the right positions from like the edge of the box, he should be lethal. Passing as well. 86 vision with 88 short passing. Playing him just behind the striker, he should be fantastic at creating chances and being that playmaker. A bit like a Kevin De Bruyne kind of style player. He's also got 88 curve. Dribbling, which is his main stat. 90 agility is very good for a 6 foot 1 or 6 foot plus player. 83 balance, 83 reactions, 86 ball control, 91 dribbling, and 84 composure. Some fantastic stats there. Defending, pretty poor, but physical wise, 78 jumping, which means you win headers. 52 heading accuracy, not great. But he's got 80 stamina and 82 strength. So some very, very good stats there. Hence why I think he'd be best in attacking midfielder, because his stats kind of are perfect for that role. Because um, he's a UCL road to knockout, if they win two of their remaining games, he gets an upgrade. If they qualify for the uh, knockout stages, they get another upgrade. So he could be end up being like an 86 rated card, which will be very good. And he's got a few play styles. Finesse shot, which is always very good to have a play style for. Um, he's got tick attacker. So he likes ground passing. He's very, very accurate and you could play him like one twos quite quickly. He's got flare, which we all know what flare means. And then technical, which means uh, he can perform higher in a controlled sprint which is what you always want in a player, don't you? So this is the team I built around him. Um, it's got Marlon for the chemistry, but it's not the best team, but it's a team that can get the job done. So we get into a few games. Hopefully it's fantastic and review will follow.
So, Road to Knockout, Giovanni Reina is a very, very good card. Two games, three goals, and he felt fantastic. So I used his goal card to unlock this card, and I hated his goal card. I thought it was slow, sluggish, and I kind of had doubts about doing this card after using him. This upgrade is anything but that. He feels very good. He has got a two-star weak foot, which is probably the biggest put-off for most people. Like, he did get a shot on his left foot, don't. If you get an opportunity, get on his right foot and get the shots off. He scored some fantastic finesse shots for me because he has got a finesse shot play style, which means they go in most of the time, or at least cause the keeper to make a save, win a corner, or get a rebound. His dribbling feels fantastic. He's got 88 dribbling. That agility and balance and that 91 dribbling just makes him feel better than what his original goal card did. At being six foot one, he's got decent pace. He can finish. He's strong. He's kind of everything you want from attacking midfielder. He reminds me of like a, quite like a tall Kevin De Bruyne, which is what you kind of want from this. And obviously he can get upgraded as well. He can go up to an 86, 86, 85, 86 rated card, which is amazing. So would I grind this card? Yes, I would, because for Bundesliga, I think he's a very, very good attacking midfielder. There's not amazing ones. There's Muziala, which is good. And I think Giovania, Gio Reina which is also a fantastic option. So would I grind the card? Yes, I would.